Hey guys, uh, Randy Butler here, uh, Classic Real Estate. I'm on at Classic Real Estate today. I'm here in my home office, as, as we say. Uh, if you think about it, music has played such an important part uh, since the beginning of time. Now, this is my guitar. I've had it for 20 years or so. Uh, <clears throat> my wife got it for me for Christmas. I had one as a kid, and I was kind of like the guitar. Uh, music is so important. There's always that song. That, that's my song. That's our song. Whatever. Uh, music just helps you understand things. Uh, an acoustic guitar is, is so, you know, so beautiful. It has such a great sound to it. You know, this one in the electric, uh, just a plain old acoustic guitar. Uh, there's so many things you can do with it. Uh, a song that's in my mind right now is you know what? I think I'll just let it stay in my mind. Because you know what? I really can't even play the guitar. Those of you are thinking, gosh, I didn't know you could play the guitar. Well, you're right. I don't. I have one, but I don't play it. Anyway, you ever notice how any major events, uh, we always seem to learn a new word out of it. Uh, and this word is shown to us like it's a word that it's been around forever. It's the first time we heard it. And after a while, we kind of start to believe it. We we'll even tell other people about the word. Like, we've known it all the time. You didn't know that? Uh, some of the things I think of is the word Chad. And not just Chad, but hanging Chad. That's a word we, we learned uh, a few years ago. Nor'easter. That just came out of a sudden. Uh, some kind of a storm, I think. Uh, more recently, is cupola. Uh, Ten years ago, did you know what a cupola was? I didn't. I never heard of it. Uh, tsunami. Uh, there's a lot of words like that that just that just come up out of nowhere, and, and we're supposed to, uh, we learn them. So uh, more recently, some of the words we, we've heard is social distancing. That's an, that's an old word. Some of those words, they may get new meanings as things happen. Uh, essential. Uh, there's a word we've all heard lately. Now, I learned a few days ago that real, realtors are essential. I'm not quite sure how that works out. I don't really agree with that. I kind of look at the hospital, the doctor, the nurses, policemen, firemen. Those folks are essential. Uh, realtors really are not that essential. So, uh, you know, everybody has their opinion on, on what everybody's going through right now. And, and to me, I think uh, now is the time to trust our leaders uh, government leaders, our church leaders, uh, they're all telling us to do certain things or tell us to stay home. I think we should do that. Uh, even though I'm allowed to go out, I don't think I should. Uh, that's, just, that's just not a, a wise thing to do. And I'm not really uh, a smart guy, but it seems to me like how as a society we handle this is just as important as, as the virus itself. Uh, how many of you, myself included, have been, I don't know if unhappy is the word, but Maybe it is unhappy with how busy our lives are. Uh, I kind of think back. My grandparents were all born in right around 1900. I always try to think what they would tell me uh, about where I'm at right now. First of all, every time I buy water at the store, what would my granddad tell me if he saw me buying water? That would just blow his mind. But if, if I went to them and told them, gosh, it was a great week. We had two nights where we didn't have any place to go. We just stayed at home. He, they, would, they would think I was crazy. Uh, you know, we've all let ourselves get so busy with, with stuff. And, and it might be good stuff, church stuff, uh, events, meetings, that kind of thing. It's all good things. But could this be a way that God's just telling us just to slow down a little bit? Uh, I, I kind of ask myself this question. Would this be a great time to, to get to you know your wife again, your husband again, your kids again? You know, we've all just came so busy and maybe this is a time... So we just kind of slow down. Uh, you know, I think of my grandparents. They sat on the porch every evening. That's what they did. The cars would go by and people would stop, which that can't happen now, where we're at now. But it was just a lot slower. Uh, th this virus, the, the thing about it, it affects everybody in some way. Nobody's immune from it. Uh, to say one group gets it worse or better, that's kind of tough. But everybody's affected in some way or another. Small businesses right now. Most of my life, I've been kind of on my own in the business world, and uh, it's tough right now. When, when the supply, when the, you know, when it stops, it's just, it's just tough. Uh, folks that are hourly workers, uh, I'm sure they're not, they're not working right now. Uh, commission people, I'm, I'm strictly commission. I, I make nothing unless, you know, somebody buys something. There's a lot of folks like that right now that are not making anything. 
there's uh, patients in hospitals and nursing homes that cannot have visitors. I got, I have a 90 some year old aunt that has Facebook and she posted a picture of herself with a, with a sign that said, I miss my family. Nobody's allowed to go see her. So I guess my plan for this virus is, is three things to uh, first do what I'm told. Uh, we're supposed to stay in. I think we should do that and slow down. Uh, we've all just gotten way too busy and to keep telling myself that God's got this and he, and he does. We have to believe that. And, and one last final request. This I've been married for about 40 years. I don't know how it happened, but I have always been the grocery shopper. That's always been my job. The past three weeks, I've had flour, and, and, and I still have a, a, a list on a piece of paper and check it off as you mark them, you know, that kind of thing. My kids tell me that's old school, and it probably is, but it works. Uh, it comes, Mary Jean says, where's the flour? Where's the flour? There is no flour. I don't know why flour is so important. So I guess my request, if someone could leave me one bag of flour, uh, so I don't have to hear my wife say, where is the flour? So uh, have a great day, Highland County, and we will get through this. Uh, we always do. Uh, it might be a while, but hey, we'll get through it. Have a great day.